What made you choose the name Raw? Ah, for me, it was part of life, like Big Daddy Kane songs. Mm, mm. You know what I mean? An ODB. Mm. But even, but even, but it was really, really Big Daddy Kane where it got stuck in my head. I get raw. You mm. know what I mean? Mm. And so, yeah, yeah, you know the fuck it's it? Yeah. So just growing up here, these kinds of, like, it had a different meaning to me. Like raw, it's more of a feeling, it's an emotion, mm. you know? Mm. Mm. And I always liked how they said, I'm going to give it to you raw. Mm. Where that's kind of like the way I want to be with the papers. I want to give it to you raw. I want you to feel it. So that's really where it comes from. Mm. It just comes from trying. It's an emotional name. You're right. I didn't think about it. It has so many different, like, it could be raw where it could be, like, where it's, like, raw and healthy or, or raw, and, raw and, like, uncut. You know what yeah. I mean? And it could be raw, like, and like almost like the word deaf, like, where it's, like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, deaf is a good word. You know, and, and uh, yeah, you know, it's, like, it's funny because because of a name like that, you know, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, but you're able to like merch is dope like who wouldn't want to buy something that says raw you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah yeah pretty dope i've seen skateboards um wh wh what other like do you, do you guys sell merch like a lot like well, I, I do make a lot of merch but mo a lot of it's made for fun mm -hmm. like, like one um, and nuns well one and nuns but it's not just for one and nuns. it's also like all right i skate right my mm -hmm. friends fucking skate so i'm gonna want to make fucking skateboards and then once i start making skateboards then like everything else i start next leveling it so you sit around, and I have these moments with my friends where we're sitting around smoking, and then it'll be like, you have that moment, which I'm sure you guys have had, which is, you know what would be really cool? Mm. And like the thing that comes out of somebody's mouth next is sometimes fucking genius. Mm. It's fucking awesome. And we write it down, and then if it can be done, we do it. For example, we're sitting around with a bunch of skaters smoking, half laughing, ha, ha and it's night, and some one of us had the idea, I can't remember who it was, it might have been me, I don't remember, of, you know what would be really cool? Imagine going down the road on a flaming cone. Mm. And I'm like, that'd be really fucking cool. <laughs> and eight months later, I end up with a cone board, where it's a skateboard, a, a big old long board that looks like as you go down the road, you're skating down the road on a flaming fucking cone. Mm. Flaming mm. fucking raw cone. Mm. So a lot of it is shit like that, where it's just fucking funny. This scarf that I'm wearing. This raw thing, scarf. Raw yeah. scarf. This thing is simply because I wanted a fucking badass fucking raw scarf. Mm, mm. I just wanted it. And you're repping your brand. I love fucking scarves. So, I, I, and with everything else, is always a fucking story. Well, I went to go make silk scarves, and I learned real fast that silk ain't vegan. They steam the worms alive. Mm. And I'm like, yo, I'm not going to fucking support that. I can't do that. So we ended up finding another softer material. I like using natural materials. So we made it out of double combed cotton. It's a fancy word for cotton. They take it and comb all the impurities out, and you're left with nothing but long fibers. They're softer, and this fucking shit's washable, and it's fucking vegan. Mm, mm. So you end up with this fucking badass, flowy-ass scarf, which no one even realizes what I'm really doing here is, again, bringing back the old. This is fucking David Lee Roth fucking floating around with the scarf. You know what I mean?